In a previous video, we were presented with a situation in which a free toy came in a box of cereal. 30% of boxes have a toy mouse, 50% of boxes have a toy dolphin, and 20% have a toy train. We were then presented with the question, how many boxes of cereal do I need to collect all three toys? We spoke about the possibility of buying and opening several boxes of cereal, but doing that enough times to get a reliable answer to our question is not realistic. Instead, we will set up and run a simulation. Here's how. We can use numbers to represent our outcomes. I'm using 10 numbers in all, since we can easily break that up into the required percentages. Three numbers are 30% of 10 numbers. So I'll use the first three values to simulate pulling a toy mouse out of the box. Note that we could have used any three values in our list. I just chose the first three to represent the toy mouse. Five numbers are 50% of our 10 numbers. So I'll use the next five values to simulate pulling a toy dolphin out of the box. Two numbers are 20% of our 10 numbers. So I'll use the last two values to simulate pulling a toy train out of the box. Now we have to get some randomly generated numbers. We can find multiple websites that are able to generate random numbers for us. I used random.org slash integers and generated these values. The first column represents my first trial. The three means that I picked a dolphin. Four is another dolphin. One is a mouse. Zero, another mouse. One is another mouse. Two, another mouse, zero, another mouse, and finally, with nine, we pick a train. Trial one ends. We picked the toys from eight boxes in that trial to collect all three toys. One trial is not enough since we could have been lucky or unlucky. To answer our question, we'll have to do several trials and take an average. For trial two, we first pick a mouse, then a train, another train, and then a dolphin. Trial two ends. It took four boxes in this trial to collect all three toys. For trial three, we first pick a dolphin, then a mouse, then a dolphin, then a mouse, followed by another mouse and another mouse, then a dolphin, another dolphin, a mouse, another mouse, then finally we get a train so we can stop the trial. It took 11 boxes for us to collect all three toys. For trial four, we first pick a dolphin, another dolphin, another dolphin, a dolphin again, then a mouse, followed by another dolphin, and finally, a train. It took seven boxes this time to collect all three toys. Once we finish our trials, we can calculate the average of all our results to answer the question, how many boxes of cereal are needed to get all three toys? We add our answers and divide by four, the number of trials, and get 7.5. Based on the results of our simulation, 7.5 boxes should be opened to collect all three toys. But since we cannot open half of a box, let's round up to eight. The more trials we conduct in our simulation, the better our answer will become. For the sake of time, I only conducted four trials but I would recommend conducting at least 20 trials in a similar investigation. Here's a summary of what we've learned. Numbers can be assigned to represent the various outcomes of a simulation. A random number generator can be used to create values that simulate outcomes of a situation.